Well, she is considered one of the Democratic Party's rising stars. And joining us live to discuss the final night of the convention is State Senator Ivana Kinsella. And thanks so much for joining us. So, Senator. Thank you. For yeah. Thanks for having me. Very nice. What did you find most compelling about the final night of the convention? Was it Joe Biden's speech? Hands down, it was Joe Biden's speech. He did an excellent job at delivering the message that I think the country needs to hear. And he took a speech that was probably prepared for a large convention with a pauses for cheers and applause and really converted it to a format where it felt like he was speaking into my TV screen. I just was so motivated and so inspired. I'm curious, Senator, when, when you talk to voters about Joe Biden who are not sold on him, uh, what are their concerns they're expressing to you? Well, voters are concerned that the challenges ahead of us may be too big for any one person to take on. And Joe Biden's been very clear that he's not looking to do this by himself, that he wants to bring a team with him and is building out the Democratic team to ensure that we really meet the challenge of our time. And um, voters want a leader that brings decency and character to the White House, and there's no question that that's Joe Biden. And you just heard Adam Laxalt say that Joe Biden won't be able to be the person to bring back the economy here in Nevada. How do you respond to that? Well, there's a reason Adam Laxalt isn't in office anymore, and it's because him and the Republican Party supporting Trump is out of touch with where voters are. They're out of touch with what Las Vegas and Nevada need, and certainly out of touch with what the country needs. The idea that Donald Trump should have another four years to make a mess of our country is just absurd to me. You know, there was some uh, criticism for this week that there were not enough Latinos that were given prominent speaking roles during the convention. Uh, do you agree with that criticism? And would you have liked to have seen more Latinos more in the spotlight? I, I think the convention did an excellent job at highlighting just how diverse our country is. I especially love the roll call where we got to see snippets from every state. Um, certainly with two hours of TV every night, it leaves room for anyone to say they would like to see more of any given thing. But I really thought the convention organizers did a phenomenal job at highlighting the core of the Democratic Party. And Joe Biden vowed to end the season of darkness, to choose hope over fear. What is your message to Nevada voters? To vote. If you haven't yet registered to vote, there is nothing to wait for. You can visit IWillVote.com and follow steps to get registered. Nevada makes it very easy to register online if you have a Nevada driver's license. There are going to be three different ways to vote this November. You can mail back a ballot. You can take your ballot to an in-person election center, or you can vote in person. There's no excuse to sit on the sidelines this election. You know, we saw Joe Biden struggle here in Nevada during the primaries. What does he need to do in Nevada to win this state come November? Well, we have a robust campaign operation here. We have organizers that come from our community that are working in their communities to talk to voters. We're being creative in how we talk to voters so that we respect the public health guidelines that have been put out. We're doing a lot of Zoom uh, phone banking, a lot of text banking, a lot of creative social media uh, advertising and Facebook lives. We're doing everything we can to talk to voters, not only about the importance of the election, but the importance of electing the Biden-Harris ticket. And real quickly, Senator, you've been called the rising star of the Democratic Party. What are your political aspirations? I hope to be the best state senator for the people of District 10 that I can be. And I don't really think beyond that. There's plenty of work to do at the state right now. Thank you Senator, so much. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you all. Have a good night.